If you follow my channel, you know I put a lot of interesting things under the microscope, whether if it's some kind of organism from my lab or a suggestion from one of my viewers. But one of the most common suggestions I've been getting lately in the last few months has been to show the novel coronavirus under the microscope. And I would love to do that if I had the proper equipment, which unfortunately I do not have. The coronavirus that's causing the current pandemic is called SARS-CoV-2, which causes the disease called COVID-19. A lot of people incorrectly refer to the coronavirus as COVID-19, which is incorrect. SARS-CoV-2 is the virus. COVID-19 is the disease, similar to how HIV, which is a virus, causes AIDS. Scientists have known about coronaviruses since the 1930s. There are hundreds of coronaviruses that infect animals and a handful that infect humans. There are four human coronaviruses that cause seasonal colds that are relatively harmless and three that are more harmful, which include SARS-CoV-2. It is possible that you've been infected by one of these less dangerous seasonal coronaviruses at one point in your life. On my channel, I use an optical microscope, also known as a light microscope to look at microorganisms. Light microscopes use light and a series of lenses to magnify and resolve very small objects. This is the microscope I usually use, a Leica ATC2000. However, light microscopes have a limit on magnification and resolution. They can usually magnify an image between 1000 to 1500 times and in the best conditions have a resolution of 0.2 micrometers or 200 nanometers. And just so you know, a nanometer is a billionth of a meter. Magnification makes an object larger, whereas resolution makes the object clearer or less blurry. The SARS-CoV-2 virus is between 60 to 140 nanometers in diameter, which is very tiny and below the 200 nanometer resolution threshold. So if I had a sample of the coronavirus under my light microscope, I wouldn't be able to see it. In order to actually see SARS-CoV-2 and other viruses, I would need something called an electron microscope. Electron microscopes are big, sophisticated, and very expensive microscopes that use electrons instead of light. Using these types of microscopes, we can achieve much better resolution and magnification compared to an optical microscope. Here we can actually see SARS-CoV-2 particles in this article from the New England Journal of Medicine. Or this image from the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases. Both of these images were captured using a transmission electron microscope. Now, I would love to get an electron microscope one day, but even used, they're a bit out of my price range. I'm currently saving up to get a better light microscope and camera so I can bring you even better footage than before, along with some of my homemade music, of course. Until then, I'll be working on some cool things I want to show you, as well as taking some of your requests. Have a good one and stay safe out there.